All right, boom, sodium plus water, let's balance it. So first, we have to split it in the middle and count how many of each atom is on each side. So on the left, we have one sodium there, and then on the right, we've got one sodium there. Now with the hydrogen, we have two hydrogens in the H2O on the left, and on the right, we have three hydrogens there. All right, cool, what about the oxygen? So we've only got one on the left there, and on the right, we've also only got one oxygen. So now we have to make sure that there's the same amount of each atom on each side. So we're going to start with the hydrogen and put a two in front of the water because two times two equals four. So we now got four hydrogens on the left. But look now, on the right, we've only got three. So we've got to put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide as well. That makes two hydrogens here plus the other two there. That equals four. So hydrogen, that's pattern, Jay. We've got four on each side. You done know. But look though, because I put a 2 in front of the NaOH, that means that the sodium on the right is now 2. So I've got to update that. And also I have to make it the same on the left. So I put a 2 in front of that sodium as well to make it the same on each side, innit? So sodium's patterned. All that's left is oxygen. Now because I put a 2 in front of the H2O, that means that that oxygen has now changed to 2, innit? And also I put a 2 in front of the NaOH on the right as well. So that means that that oxygen is 2 as well. So all of that is sorted now, innit? You done, no?